So, let's talk about Clover. The first paid DLC to feature a new character, the Clover Pack was something we hadn't seen before in Payday 2, except for those times where we saw exactly that. Something something padding and filler, how will the pieces of this character pack work together? Let's find out. When we start at the perk deck, you know something special. Burglar is a stealth deck, strangely enough. The only real stealth deck in the terms that nobody wants to run this loud. Like Yakuza and Hacker, the other two stealth decks in that people sometimes run them. But Burglar is straight up a stealth deck. You bag corpses, pick locks, and answer pagers much faster while also offering a little bit of passive dodge and some other bonuses while standing still and crouching. It's a really great stealth deck, and it's only fair that Clover comes with... Ah, of course, uh, a big hunk of metal. That makes sense to me. The Queen's Wrath is strange. I mean, I made a video about it a short while ago because I used to love this thing, but then I quit cold turkey one day. And yeah, we're gonna have to cut this thing way down to make this work in a stealth or in a dodge build. All right, diminutive barrel, medium suppressor, a plus one concealment boost, the versatile foregrip, a compact laser module, the delightful grip. Why do they, all these things have these names? The vintage magazine, and we're done here. The magazine size is pretty unfortunate, but it'll have to do in a pursuit to hit four detection risk. Luckily, we have a secret weapon. Literally. This weapon's so compact, it's a secret that we have it. The Brunetti 9 can hit 34 concealment with any suppressor with a minus one or two concealment rating. Plus three concealment boost, micro laser, your choice of grip and lower receiver, marksman sights, and the elite slide, and we're good to go. We've got by and large the game's most concealable weapon, which is perfect because we're not only concealing the Queen's Wrath, but also Clover's Shillelagh, a 27 concealment bonkin' weapon that's delightfully Irish, but lacks the panache of, say, the Leather Sap, Elder Verdugo, or the Katana. The sound design's kind of fun. Alright, let's grab optical illusions and inner pockets aced and see where we... Six detection risk. No, 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 this has to be some mistake. We are one concealment point off from being able to tuck all of this in a build with 10% extra dodge and 30% crits. I... There's gotta be something. There's gotta be something. No... Uh, why do the numbers have to add up? Overkill. Overkill, please. Overkill. This is a stealth deck. And you can't get all of its contents completely under a good detection risk. And it's not because of the light ballistic vest. I've got aced inner pockets. That negates the concealment loss from the light ballistic vest. I almost called that optical illusions. I mean, whatever. You know what? It's not the end of the world. Maybe the diamond heist has a- Oh, come on! Okay, it's fine. We have 27% critical chance and 9% dodge. And even if we throw the speed pull back on there, it's- 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 it's whatever. Alright, let's just go through our core skills, I guess. I based partners in crime, so we get more health from a convert alongside extra firepower. We have aced die hard, give our light ballistic vest 70 armor points. Aced steady grip and basic surefire for our queen's wrath. Aced chameleon six cents and nimble for mixed stealth and loud use. I'll get to that in just a moment. Duck and cover, inner pockets, shockproof optical illusions, and professional aced with basic sneaky bastard and low blow. And then I've aced one handed talent, gun nut, nine lives, and swan song with basic trigger happy. That's about the best we can do for allowing a stealth deck, unfortunately, and that's the best we can do for concealing a loud build. Huh. <sighs> Burglar is kind of the wrench in these plans, but how does it all work? It works. Eh, kind of. It kind of works. The stealth skills here were absolutely wild card picks, but super helpful for heists with escapes and safes, like nightclub and four stores. And it speeds up missions like stealing Xmas or getting the gold ticket in First World Bank. There are many heists where these skills will never come in handy, so put points in a doctor bags or something if you're going to run one of those types of heists. But otherwise, just kind of sprint, crouch, jump at danger, spray the Queen's Wrath into crowds, use the Benetti and Trigger Happy to rapidly tear up enemies, and use the Shillelagh. Never. Don't. Don't use that. Don't use the Shillelagh. On Mayhem, I was pretty shocked by Burglar. It works. It's not great. It's not good. But it works. I got through Stealing Xmas with no downs in my research, and I did pretty well in the heist I played for this video. On Death Wish, it's a lot more rocky. It, it, it's not horrible. It's a little better than Yakuza, in my opinion, and that gives you passive dodge. Whether you play loud or stealth, you're not firing in all cylinders with this build, but it works. You can use it for both, kind of. You'll feel like odd job because you're kind of just crouched the whole game, but you get crits, dodge, and as long as you work your cover right, you're able to hide away quite all right and get away with pretty much anything. It's not good, it's not bad. It's mayonnaise on fries. It, it shouldn't exist, but it does. It's not terrible, but there's better options. 
We've played worse. It just it feels more consistent than Yakuza, so I, I think that's a passing grade. It's like a C minus, but that's a passing grade. All right, that was Clover. Let's just take a quick look through our list real fast. Oh, oh snap! There's only one more character build after this. I wonder how that'll. Oh no. If you like this video and you'd like to see more, I'd recommend subscribing. Patreon and social media links are in the description.